Two years ago, when we made our first modern stream video, I was confident we would have the new modern experience by now, but we don't. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about where Microsoft is at with the features that are currently missing, what they've done in the last two years, and what it means to you to have to migrate from classic stream to the new modern stream. So let's get into it. In order to understand what Microsoft is doing related to Stream, you really need to understand some of the differences between Classic Stream and what Microsoft's calling Stream built on SharePoint. Classic Stream was an application built from the ground up as a separate solution to delivering video content to your organization. Since that was built, Microsoft has determined that that wasn't really the best approach for them and what they wanted to deliver to end users. So what they're doing now is building a brand new version of Stream that's built into a lot of the Office 365 tools that you know today. And so it's gonna look radically different than what Classic Stream did. Because of this, you really shouldn't think of it as a new version of Stream. It's really a rewrite of Stream from the ground up. And it's a really a reimagining of what Classic Stream is. To help you understand what that looks like, I have a couple graphics I wanna go through. So the first one is really, all about um, what Classic Stream looked like. And as you can see, we really have you know, the tools that you're familiar with, um, SharePoint, OneDrive, Yammer, all of these things. They're their own application and they link out to and can bring content in from Classic Stream. And Classic Stream has storage capacity, sharing, administration, that's all its own content. So if you wanted to manage things within Stream, you go to the Stream application and manage content and do all of your content editing, and then you just link into these other applications or from these other applications into the classic Stream. In the new version of Stream, Microsoft is taking a completely different approach. Stream itself is really more of a thin layer of services that know how to deal with video files that can be embedded into all of their other products. And so now storage and sharing really exists within SharePoint and OneDrive it doesn't exist within this other tool called Stream. So as you can see, all of the other applications are going to use Stream to natively deal with video content, transcriptions, all of the other things. And what that means is that Stream as an application doesn't have its own administration, storage, et cetera. About the only thing that it owns itself is maybe stream recording, what they're calling the start page, which is like the new landing page, um, transcription services that can be used by these other tools, transcoding, which can be used by these other tools. That's the only stuff that really exists in the new stream. When you think about the experience, you're gonna be in you know, SharePoint or you know, PowerPoint, and you're gonna say, hey, I wanna embed this video. And when you go to do that, it's actually gonna be using stream to do all of the technical details of making it a good experience for users to, to get a good high quality video and maybe get a good video on lower bit rate versus a lower connection versus a high speed connection. And it's all gonna happen through, you know, like I said, PowerPoint or SharePoint, but on the back end, it's gonna be using Stream to kind of figure out the technical details of how to do that. Now we're gonna talk about where we are today. As you may be aware, we did a video about this when this launched two years ago. Microsoft's been talking about this transition from classic stream to the modern stream or the stream built on SharePoint for a very long time. The reason that is is because they're not building a, a, you know, an incremental improvement to stream. What they're doing is rebuilding it in all of these other tools. You know, what they've done over the last two years is really build components into some of the existing tools. And we have some of those things today. So right now today, you, you can use Stream Classic and you can use some of the features with, that are built into Stream built on SharePoint, which is what they're calling this. Um, and so what I'm gonna talk about right now is what features are available today, what that looks like. So right now in SharePoint itself, they've built a lot of, uh, they've built a lot of video features within some of the web parts that you're already familiar with. So for example, the Hero web part, the Quick Links web part, File Viewer, all of these things now know how to deal with video files automatically and make them really high quality experience for end users, but the video content wouldn't be stored in Stream anymore, they're now stored in SharePoint. So as an example to use this, you would upload a video into SharePoint, you would 
add a hero web part, and then you would point that hero web part at the video, and all of a sudden your users are gonna have experience where they can play the video, they can look at the video, they have the, the thumbnail of the video show up in the hero web part, as an example. Um, another thing they've done a lot of work on, it was one of the first things they did, was optimize streaming. So if anybody's been around a really long time, they'll know that back in the day, SharePoint was absolutely horrific at video content. Um, oftentimes you'd have to download the whole video and play it from your machine. That's one of the big reasons why they s launched Stream as a service is that way they could have a solution that would have a better experience for, for video content. They've now taken a lot of those features and built that into SharePoint. So today, if you upload a, a video into SharePoint, you're gonna have a pretty decent experience of playing that video. You're not gonna have to download it. It's not gonna have a bunch of buffering to waiting for you to buffer so that you can play it. Um, you know, there's a lot of that functionality, functionality built directly in SharePoint now. One other thing you may have noticed recently is that Microsoft changed where meeting recordings are stored. So previously, all meeting recordings were stored in stream because that was the only place that did high quality video content. Now the only way to store recorded meetings is to store it in SharePoint or OneDrive. The other major thing Microsoft has done work on, um, and they're about to launch it, is the stream start page. This is the replacement for the landing page of Stream, where you would currently go in and see all of the videos that you're maybe following or channels that you're watching. Um, and it's really that high quality experience for you to be able to discover video content. That's now moving into its own page that's built into the waffle. So instead of clicking on the waffle and going to Stream and going to Classic Stream, when this launches, you would click on this and you'd go to this new experience, which is now gonna aggregate videos from all over um, the Office 365 world that exists today. So SharePoint, OneDrive, et cetera. So that's gonna be launching soon. In addition to all these things that they've been working hard to try to build into the tool, Microsoft kind of got a bunch of stuff for free. If you go look at a lot of their marketing about it, they'll talk about the new stream having, you know, guest user access and, and uh, metadata tagging, but really what they really did is because they put these files now in SharePoint, SharePoint has all these features that people were asking for in stream and they kind of get it for free. So I'm gonna go through a list of some things. A lot of them are gonna be uh, things that people maybe were looking for or are looking for to be built into Stream Classic. And yes, technically in the new stream, you get all of these things, but you need to think about these as you get them because they're now in SharePoint, right? So the user experience is gonna be how you do it in SharePoint. So if you understand how to do metadata tagging in SharePoint, you're gonna understand how to do that for the new stream because it's the same thing. So these would be things like uh, search. So now, uh, previously when you did search uh, across SharePoint, it wouldn't bring in video content from, from stream because it's a different service stored in a different location. Now everything's in SharePoint, Searching is gonna be ubiquitous across all of these file content types, including video content types. Discovery through Delve. Uh, sharing, so you're gonna have the same sharing experience. So if I wanna share with a guest user in the classic stream, there's no option, but in SharePoint, you gotta get that out of the box, right? If your tenant has it enabled, you can share with anyone that has access to your tenant. It'll also be easier for you to share with internal users. If you're familiar with Stream Classic, it's a little bit, uh, unusual the way you have to share. You know, you end up going into the details page, you maybe have to uh, assign it to a group, um, click some check boxes to add users in particular places, um, and it's just not consistent with the way you share across the other Office 365 tools. Again, now because it's in SharePoint, it's gonna be the same as you do for everything else, and users should be, it should be a very familiar experience for everyone. Uh, analytics, security, compliance, metadata tagging, as I mentioned before, these are all things built into SharePoint, built into OneDrive. You're just getting them for free by moving that content out of Stream Classic and into SharePoint and OneDrive. For example, if you have access to the SharePoint site, you have access to the video content in the SharePoint site. So now let's talk about the bad news. Not everything is done. Microsoft is still in transition two years later. There's a number of features that are just simply missing from the new stream. Some of those things would be like viewing and editing the transcription. So today in classic stream, you can see the transcription right to the right and you can click edit and say, hey, I wanna edit that transcription. I wanna make some updates to it. None of that is available today in the, in the modern uh, stream. Changing the playback speed of your video. Embedding, getting an embed code that you can use to embed the video in a, in a website or in a page. 
mobile, a mobile stream application simply just doesn't exist. Uh, having a watch list, doing screen recordings, all of these things are things that Microsoft is working on to try to get available to users, but they just aren't available today. Obviously, the list of features that are missing today is pretty long. Not all of these features are things that people use every day. If these are things that you use in your environment, you should really consider um, when we talk about migration and whether or not you should be moving to the new stream, whether or not that's a, a good move for you. Now let's talk about migration. As you can imagine, you have a bunch of data and content that exists in Stream Classic, and you have to move it. There is no choice. Stream Classic is gonna get turned off. You have to move it into SharePoint or OneDrive or another Office 365 tool. That could be a daunting task. Microsoft recognizes this, and they're working on a tool. Uh, I believe it's currently in public beta or preview that will basically automate moving content from Stream into SharePoint or OneDrive. Some things to note about that tool, this isn't a end user tool. This isn't a way to make it easy for end users to move videos. It's meant for your IT department to go and say, hey, we're gonna start migrating and moving all this content and we're gonna set up these rules about how we want this to work based on the five different content types that Microsoft has identified. So is it personal content? That's gonna go to OneDrive. Is it group content? That should go to a group or a SharePoint site related to the group. They have these rules that are gonna be built in. Those rules are gonna be strictly followed. So what's gonna happen is someone on the back end is gonna run some PowerShell commands, gonna to, going to execute this migration tool, and it's gonna start moving content from stream into SharePoint and OneDrive. It can only choose one location to put it. It also can't manage the permissions that are related to this new content. So you're gonna be dealing with just a bulk move and then having to kind of clean it up afterwards. So making sure that additional people are added with permissions, making sure that it's in really the right location for where that content might be. That is if you choose to use the tool. The tool will make it really easy to move bulk data from one to the other, and you'll get some support from Microsoft to do that. The other option is to manually move this content. So pull down the videos, upload them into where you want them on SharePoint or OneDrive. That would be my recommendation if you have a small group of videos that you need to move more immediately from where they currently live in Stream Classic to a modern SharePoint site or OneDrive. So we've covered a lot in this video so far. I just wanna summarize what you should be taking away from this. The first thing is the current Stream, the Stream Classic is gonna go away and it's gonna be replaced by new features that may look completely different and be in a completely different experience from what you have today, right? So it's, as I said before, things are moving from Stream Classic and being embedded in other tools like SharePoint and OneDrive. Next, there will be a migration. You're going to have to move your content from the existing Stream Classic and move it into either SharePoint or OneDrive or another tool. Microsoft has an invested interest in moving you as quickly as possible off from Stream Classic into the modern stream. So be looking for them to put a lot of pressure when, they're when they think they're ready to get you migrated. This is gonna be a short turnaround. They're gonna say, hey, we're ready to go, and you know, in 12 months, we need you have to have all that content moved. Don't look for this to be a long, drawn-out affair with migration. Lastly, in my opinion, you should be looking for every opportunity where you can use the modern stream to publish your video content. Stream Classic is gonna go away, there's a lot of features available in Stream Modern now. You have some basic features that you can use today. If you don't need some of those features that are missing from Stream Modern, go ahead, start using it. Move your content, or at least don't make more content in Stream Classic that you're just gonna have to move to Modern. So that's all I have for you today on Stream. But as you know, there's gonna be more work for Microsoft and we're probably gonna produce another video in the future. If you're interested in this content, like and subscribe. Also, remember that we have a learning center on our website and we're doing office hours on a monthly basis. Reach out, come talk to us. We'd love to help you.